our next guests continue to inspire hope amidst poverty and tragedies in Haiti. Stephanie persistently applied for work as a young expectant mother, hoping to provide food for herself and her baby. As a teenager, Shirley searched for a way to help feed her family, who was living in a tent after a devastating earthquake. Now, Stephanie is a master potter, overseeing more than 50 artisans, and Shirley is known as the founder's right arm, left arm, legs, and feet. Please welcome to the stage pottery manager of our artisan partners in Haiti, Stephanie Brazil, and production manager, Shirley Berthier. This is Shirley and Stephanie, and they are key women in our organization at, uh, in Port-au-Prince, Haiti, and Papillon. Uh, Papillon. And so um, we're just going to do a little question and answer with them to, for you guys to hear more about their story and what Papillon and what your work has done to change their lives and give them hope and sustainable income over the last eight, nine years. Um, both of them came to Inspire, I think it was three years ago. And so you probably are, from, maybe some of you are familiar with them, um, but it's really cool to see how the progression goes. So what they are doing now is not what they were doing three years ago. So I'm just gonna ask some questions. Shirley's gonna translate, and um, Stephanie's gonna um, talk a little bit about her story. Okay, here we go. <coughs> so. This is Stephanie. Stephanie, how old were you when you first met um, me and started working with Papillon? I was 18. Oh, she understood that. You get it? <laughs> <laughs> and um, what was your situation when you first started working? Moi pas de travail, moi j'ai besoin de travail, on doit prier Dieu pour ça. C'est comme ça m'ai commencé. Before starting working with Papillon, I was living with my mother. Then I had a son, and I wasn't working, so I was bringing, hoping one day I would find a job so I could take care of him. And how did you find out about what we were doing? Qui j'ai fait, qui j'ai tenté de parler de ça nous nous fait à Papillon. C'est dans zone non habité, même pas de Covid. Check it for travail, même de vraiment besoin de travail, même de ça avec yon zan mim, et puis zan mim nan te parle, même de ça. I lived close to Papillon, and I have a friend who knew my situation, and then she spoke to me, and I decided to come ask for a job. Okay, and what did you do when you first started working there? Qui sont te confié avant te commencer travail? L'autre te commencer travail? L'homme te commencer travail, et te connu les grains de papier. When I started, I used to roll beats, paper beats. Um... So, what are all of the things that you have learned <coughs> over the last few years? Pendant toute année, ça, qui, qui ça ou apprendre? Bon, en gros, m'apprendre en pile. C'est d'un coup, c'était l'école moi hier pendant vingt neuf papillon. I bet some of you guys understood. <laughs> well, I, I felt like I was actually in a school because I've learned a lot. Moi apprendre anglais. Moi, m'apprendre anglais maintenant. I'm learning English. I can work on Excel. Um, I can work on Excel. I can work on Word. I can work on Word. I can work on how to use email. I can insert emails. And I can work on how to shop at five and I can receive all your orders. Now I can receive all the orders on Shopify. When an order comes in through Trades of Hope, it goes into our Shopify system. The back end of it shows which products, and they can see the quantities and all that stuff, and all of our managers know how to read the back end and use the back end of Shopify. It's really, really cool to see where they've <laughs> come from and what they're doing now, so it's like exciting. So, Stephanie, what is your job now? Qui travaille au Pounia? Moi, c'est manager, mon content, comme ça. Et ma vie, ma, avant de faire des tasks, on a ma supervisé des tasks qui bon, et puis pour continuer à travailler avec comment dire. Okay, I'm a manager in pottery department. In the beginning, I used to make 
mugs, and now I'm actually supervising the department. And Stephanie, how many people do you supervise? Combien mon supervisé? 40 à 42. 40 to 42. We have another partner that we love to work with. They're called Feed My Starving Children. They provide um, meal packs for kids all over the world, and they sell our mugs in order to raise money for those meal packs. Stephanie just did a 3,000 mug order for Feed My Starving Children. Um, I want to ask if anybody out there just has a quick question for Stephanie, something that you're just, you know, dying to know. Bravo, Stephanie. <laughs> Her son is in, it, well, what's your son doing now? Petite-moi à l'école, et lui met elle dans bon l'école, et puis m'a pas apprendre ni typing, et puis m'a fait petit training avec elle en anglais tout. Okay, my son is in a great school, and I'm also teaching him typing. Most of things that I know now. Because of Papillon. And how many people, how many people do you support? Combien mon supporter? Onze mon, pas à moi. I support eleven people. She's. Quel âge vous avez-vous? Vingt-cinq ans. She's twenty-five years old. She is the breadwinner for eleven people. Stephanie, or Shirley, do you want to just tell your story? Do you want me to ask you a question? Uh, I can try. <laughs> okay, go for it. I bet I'll go faster. Okay, I'll just talk about myself. Then anything that I miss, Shirley can just ask me a question. Are you guys? <laughs> so for those of you who don't know me, I'm Shirley, little Shirley. <laughs> I've been working at Papillon for over eight, uh, nine years now. Um, when started, like everyone, I was a beat roller. <laughs> um, Actually, my mom was about to go to work to Papillon. Before that, she was working at Food for the Poor, but unfortunately lost her job. So after the earthquake, she was looking for another job because by the time we were, we had to go out of the city because, you know, we, because, um, from all the ruins. So we had to leave the city. And it was super hard for her because um, we've never, you know, been apart. So uh, Sonia, one was of the former workers, um, I used to help her roll paper beads. So when I came back to the city and she told me, I'm going to work. And I was like, where? And she said, where Sonia is working. And I knew pretty well she knew nothing about rolling paper beads. <laughs> and I knew she got, you know, she would be ill often. And I said, what do you think if I would go instead? It was kind of difficult for her to accept, but I finally convinced her. And I knew I spoke English, so I knew that probably would help. So I decided to go, so that's how I ended up working at Papillon. Um, but I'm, I think probably most of you guys can see that I'm pretty shy. So I would basically go and roll my paper beads and go back, go back home with money, and that's it. I wouldn't really talk. I wouldn't show people like I spoke English. I just wanted to work, and that's it. Until one day, um, I think Shelly had a friend that came over. They needed a translator. And Sonia is the one who brought me. She said, she's spoken. I was like, no, no, don't do that to me. <laughs> she she speaks English. She speaks English. Well, I had no choice because everybody at the time was looking at me. <laughs> so I decided to help and translate. Since then, most people knew that I spoke English. And Shelly found out that I, I could help more because one day I, I had to get my paycheck. Somebody else almost had the same name with me, Shirley. So my paycheck went to her paycheck, and when Shelly handed me my envelope, I was like, that's not correct. <laughs> and she didn't really knew that I spoke English, and she was like with her translator, what is she saying? Like, what does that mean? What's happening? And like, I just answered her directly, it's not enough. <laughs> and then I just spoke directly to her and trying to explain, I say, I think this is what happened. And then when they double checked, that was correct. They decided to change my name into Teresa. <laughs> <laughs> then I said, well, I don't think I really like it. Then Lily Shirley just talked. So till now, I'm Lily Shirley. 
Um, then I transitioned from rolling paper beads into helping Shelly in the office with payroll, double check, quality checking, until I roll up in helping in the boutique, and now I'm production manager, and I help with product development. Um, can you talk a little bit about your personal life, like how that's evolved over the years that you've been with Papillon? Of course. <sighs> uh, I don't know where to start. <laughs> okay, so I'm married, and I have a cute son, Marvin Lee. Um, Shelly's been a model to me. Um, even working at Papillon as like, a leader, I've seen her struggles. And sometimes she would question me or question others around when in a hard situation. And I've been doing the same. Sometimes when I get discouraged, feel like giving up. And I would be like, oh, my goodness, Shell's been through this. And I've been, you know, answering all her questions. So it's my time now. So I have to move on. Um, working at Papillon had have impact in my personal life. For those of you who don't know, in Haiti, culturally, like, um, women don't work that often. The, uh, beside, you know, selling or cleaning houses and stuff like that. So most of the time, if we're working, we feel independent. We don't really depend on men. So that really have an impact on my personal life with my husband. Because sometimes I say, you just like your boss. <laughs> so sometimes I really have, you know, because I just feel like I can do anything. Like, even though you are a man, I think I can do whatever you do. Like, I can choose not to lift something heavy. <laughs> But I can do it. So um, working in Papillon, like Stephanie said, it's been a school in all sense, personal life. Um, probably for those of you, when I spoke three years ago, I'm not sure I spoke like that. <laughs> I'm sure I was, you know, more reserved. That's why I told Shelly, I, I want to try. Instead of us asking lots of questions, I want to try on my own. So, yeah, I've learned a lot, and I'm really grateful for that. I'm grateful for working at Papillon. I'm grateful for your partnership because that has helped us a lot in ways you don't imagine. Because also in Haiti, when we do not have enough work, it does have an impact on us personally because we, we get threatened, all those kinds of stuff. So when we receive more orders, huh, it's a relief because we know <laughs> we don't have to deal with all those you know, emotions, all those threatening and stuff like that. So thank you, guys. Um. She didn't talk about her son, but just kind of in a nutshell, she, I mean, she's just such an incredible person. Here she is, 24 years old, right, mm -hmm. 24, and she adopted Marvin Lee, um, who they found basically in a hospital. He'd been abandoned, and he'd been being fed basically moonshine in a bottle um, to keep him alive, and she, it was just really cool because it's like, I think in your words, like she had gotten accustomed to the culture of children should not go to orphanages, they need to be in families. And she knew that was the only alt option for him, having been abandoned, was that he was going to end up in an orphanage and she didn't want that to happen and she adopted him. Yeah. Um, she's currently in the fundraising process to try to um, finish his adoption because she has to go through the same process that we, Americans have to go to and the same cost to do that. So she wants to be able to travel with her son. Um, and, and be able to do all the things that we do. And so she's trying to get all of that done right now. And so it's just really, it's really amazing to watch that. And so, um, yeah, these two women, right? They're just. <laughs> Hold on one second. I think that about wraps it up unless anybody has a pressing question, one question that they wanted to ask either one of these girls. No? One, one question, okay. Good, good, good. Oh. What do you hope for the future? I want to inspire me to a business woman. I guess you guys understand. I think most of us want to be business women because as you know in Haiti jobs are important so I know we need more than one papillon wish we could have one in every department every city so of course me too I want to be a business woman <laughs>